What's up everybody and welcome back to the Ultimate FIFA series episode number 9. We have, as you guys can see, still got our one gym badge gleaming away beautifully from the guess who. And we've got our two squads as well, if you might remember from the last episode, we were doing some Steeler player and upgrading them. Now, this is going to be the last episode to upgrade our squads before we go into the next marquee challenge. That is going to be a squad roulette and we're going to be doing it against Swayback. Now, if we have a little look at the wheel, I mean, you guys know what is written on there now. We were on Steeler Player last time with Coin and a Potluck, blah de blah de blah. Obviously, to do Squad Roulette, I'm gonna need to rub the wheel out to write the Squad Roulette rules on it. So, I thought maybe we could have a mid-series shake-up if you guys fancy it. If there's anything on that wheel that you particularly love, pop it down in the comment section and you want it to stay. If there's anything you particularly dislike, like I'm not a massive fan of Draft to Glory. I mean, I feel like Draft to Glory is a whole series rather than episodes, but it's a popular one that people do, so I did pop it on there. We haven't landed on it yet which is maybe quite fortunate because it'd be a very long episode doing a few foot drafts in order to get some packs. But let me know what you think about them. If there's any of them that you would like to change or want to put something different on the wheel, pop it down in the comment section because this is the chance because we're going to have to write the squad roulette stuff on there. So it'll be available for you guys for a little bit of changing up. But I suppose we should just get back to wheel camp and just get back to spinning and see what we're going to do today. And no, my luck. We'd probably end up with draft to glory for this episode so we have got ourselves a little bit of fifa point earner oh this is a good one we haven't had this one yet and i feel like it could actually be pretty bloody sick so the way this is going to work then is we are going to earn fifa points obviously it is the fifa point earner we're going to get 3,000 fifa points for a win 2,000 FIFA points for a draw and I'm feeling pretty generous to myself so we're going to have 1,000 FIFA points for a loss taking part it's 2019 and you get a medal just for having a go so we're going to get 1,000 FIFA points for that and we'll have bonus FIFA points as well so if you manage to make someone rage quit or we manage to score three goals I will have a bonus 1,000 FIFA points as well so basically if we win every game 3-0 or we win every game by making the rage quit there's 12,000 FIFA points up for grabs which could be sick for a pack opening at the end of this episode if we get a few draws, maybe a win by one goal and a couple of draws or something like that, we'll still have a decent little pack opening at the end as well. So we're going to jump in. We've got the French team. We finished the last video off with a game with the Premier League team. So we're going to kick this one off with the French team, which is looking pretty bloody good. Obviously, there were no upgrading as we go through the video. Well, I suppose we could. We could maybe spend them as we go. Or should we do a massive pack open at the end? Oh, I'm not sure. We'll have to decide that, but that is the French team. It's the one you guys already know. So without further ado, let's just jump into our first game and get in and some FIFA points. Here we go then. Opponent number one has got himself a nice little hybrid, to be fair, between the Ligue 1, French Premier League, La Liga. It's, it's very nice, to be fair, to the guy. De Gea, Ramos, to Sanchez, to Neymar, to Depay, to Mbappe, to Pogba. I like it. I respect it. I would quite like to have got steal a player on this guy, but it's fine. We will hopefully beat him with our French team and we'll hopefully earn ourselves about 4,000 FIFA points if we can make him rage quit or beat him by three goals. So let's do it. Go on, Payet. Oh, that's a foul ref. That's a pen. Oh, you're winding me up. I sound like Nepo. Oh, God, and his name is away. Oh my lord, how have we not just conceded? Get that away, Varane. Oh, Lacazette just isn't top tier like Rashford. That sounds so stupid because Lacazette's higher rated, but he isn't good enough to not need pace, is probably the way to put it. Like, he isn't particularly amazing at anything. There we go. There's 1-0. Was that Lacazette to rub it in my face? I think it might have been. Maybe that's what he's good at. Just finishing. <laughs> it was. It was Lacazette. Fair play. Holy moly, Payet. Oh my god, son. <laughs> that's the first time I've properly hit a long shot with that flashback Payet. Good lord. That was a rocket. Oh, don't concede a kickoff goal. We've conceded a kickoff goal. That's so annoying. Just part like the bloody Red Sea, don't do your defenders from kickoff. And the guys at EA swear that kickoff goals aren't a thing. Okay, mate. Do 
David De Gea is ridiculous on this game. How has he not only saved that, but also kept it next to himself so that he could catch it? Meanwhile, my Lacazette can't even take a bloody first touch. Come on, boys. Oh, now we're getting smashed on the counter. Now we've been... So oh, that's a good save from Brutel as well, to be fair. I don't know why Lacazette can't take a first touch. I don't know what's wrong with him, but he's got a very lucky rebound back to him off the defender, and at least he can kick it in the goal. At least he can do that. Can we get a last-minute corner goal to unlock the bonus 1,000 FIFA points? Come on, EA. <gasps> no! That forward Salah was going to bury that, you know. He's about to blow the whistle, isn't he? Yeah, there you go. That's the end of the game. Okay, 3,000 FIFA points though. We won. That's pretty decent. Let's get a little counter up. Let's get them 3,000 FIFA points. Well and truly in the bag. That is beautiful. And let's move on to the next game. Maybe we'll use the Premier League team this time with Rui Costa and see what we can do from there. Let's do it. Here we go then. The Premier League team against... Ooh, a very good Premier League team slash... La Liga hybrid, I suppose. He's got himself at 89 sterling, which is pretty cool. Baby Trezeguet, I assume, from the pack. Rijkaard, I assume, from the SBC. And a nice little Premier League La Liga hybrid. Very nice. Very decent team. Hopefully, we can get a win and get ourselves another 3,000 FIFA points in the bag. Okay. We've just been rinsed. I don't know why Robertson auto lunged, but he deserved to score anyway. That was actually pretty good football. And a nice finish from Mr. Bruyne. Fair play. We're going to have to get four goals now to beat him by three if we want the bonus thousand few points. This is very annoying. Ah, oh, the ball rolled past Robertson's toe. Okay, come on, Andy. We haven't started this game at all. Is that a pen? That's a pen. Okay, two absolutely terrible touches from Rui Costa and Salah. But we've got ourselves a penalty, which we always miss, but maybe not this time. Not this time. There we go. We would have missed it if we did our stutter then left. But you stutter and then go down the middle and apparently you score. One all. Okay, we're back in the game. One all at half time then. Not playing particularly good. Maybe we should switch it up the tactic. I think I'm playing 4 2 3 1 at the moment. Maybe we'll go back to playing 4 3 3 4 and see if we can get a bit more joy there. But we're just getting overrun, it feels, to be honest with you. So I think we're lucky to be at one all. Hanging on to the 1,000 FIFA points. Fingers, pro <laughs> fingers crossed we can keep all of them. Wow. What a finish, Kevin De Bruyne. I don't know what I can say. I'm just slow to react. My players are slow to react. It's slow to change. Man, I don't know. It shouldn't be. I've got it plugged in on the line cable, so maybe it's just me. Like, there, I couldn't get onto Socrates fast enough to get across and block the shot, and that was a ridiculous finish. Fair play. Christ, he's throwing goal again. <laughs> Come on, Sterling, cock it up. Oh, my God, what a save, Loris. He's got a corner though. I just realised as well at half time I was saying that we were clinging on to the thousand fee points. We're guaranteed the thousand fee points. We got a thousand fee points now for losing. It was two thousand that we had. So ideally we could do with getting them back. We've got three from the first game. We've got at least one for this one. It's four, but I'd quite like to, like quite like six thousand. But I don't think that's going to happen. If we can get a draw back and get the two thousand, that'd be pretty good. Oh my God! A forty just done a madness. I wasn't even trying to get him to enter or to attack it. I was trying to get Socrates to enter it. Jesus, Salah. That was close. We are an ultra attacking though, so we're going to be very, very frail at the back. Nah, it wasn't to be. Only 1,000 people points, so we're up to 4,000. But not a good performance by us there, to be honest with you. Yeah, the Premier League team, not good. Come on then, French team. Show, my God. Show these stupid Premier League players how it's done. Cristiano Ronaldo. Prime Nedved and Prime Best up front. Brilliant. Okie dokie then. <laughs> My lord. I hope this French defence is in for a tough game. That is crazy. Okay. Okay. Well, I mean, we could just take the 5,000 FIFA points now. <laughs> nah, we're going for 7k. We want to, in fact, no, we're going for 8k. We want to win in the range quits. Come on. 
I find that if you actually batter people with sick teams, they're more likely to rage quit because they get triggered by the game. So maybe we could do that. I doubt it though. Conversely, if you've got a sick team and go two goals up or three goals up straight away, people are also more likely to rage quit because they can't be bothered to play against your sick team. So I think it's just rage quits galore if you've got Ronaldo and stuff like that. Hopefully, we can make this guy rage quit, but it's going to be hard. Oh, come on, game. No. <laughs> Stupid Ronaldo. And I notice a lot of people get really triggered by God squads or really good teams in Div Rivals. And yeah, it is annoying playing against someone who you're obviously better at FIFA than. But what you have got to realise is that he's in your division with that team. So even though his games, his team's miles better than you, the game is still fair. Unless he's just packed Ronaldo today. Like this guy is the same skill rating as me with that team. So it is an even game that we're playing. Do you get what I mean? Like, his team is... He's worse at FIFA than me, but his team is pulling him up to my level. So there's a 50-50 chance, if we're both in the right skill rating, that it'll be a win or a draw or a loss. Well, it can't be a 50-50. That's all three. But do you get what I mean? Oh, my God. I thought that was going out. Oh, my God. What is going on? Thank you, Butel. Do you get what I mean? Like, he might be a 6 out of 10 with an 8 out of 10 team, whereas I'm a 7 out of 10 with a 7 out of 10 team. So it makes it even. But people get properly wound up by it, which in Weekend League, it's absolutely 100% valid. But in Div Rivals, God Squads don't really matter. I've genuinely just pressed shoot three times and nothing's happened anytime. You are winding me up. Oh, this game does my nutting sometimes. Half time. We've been smashing this guy. He's literally scored a 360 no scope with Cristiano Ronaldo. And other than that, we've been absolutely all over him. I mean, I suppose the stats don't represent that. That's what it feels like, though. You can see there, 34% in his box based on 23 and ours. So maybe not battering him is a bit of an overstatement. For some reason, we're playing 4 triple 2. I've got absolutely no idea why. I'm pretty sure it's set to attacking, not ultra attacking. Apparently not. Well, okay. Well, let's let's get back to what we actually should be playing. And maybe we can actually score and dominate him a bit. All my players are going to be knack. Is he even play he's not even playing. What's he doing? Okay, now he's playing. So, the player switch bug isn't fixed. And if anything, it's worse. Because I've currently got Payet and Dembele, I think, playing CDM. I've got Matuidi as Cam. And I've got Taliso and Martial on the wings or something stupid like that. Matuidi's definitely playing central cam and Payet's definitely playing CDM. And I'm pretty sure Taliso's playing on the wing. This is ridiculous. This game's stupid, man. What is wrong with it? Honest to God, this game. Look at... I can't be bothered, man. This is ridiculous. Why did it have to be Varane? And why can he still not get it on target from inside the box? That's ridiculous. It's perfectly timed. It's going to waste time now. Brilliant. He's not done a very good job of it because he's not very good. But I just can't seem to create a decent goal scoring opportunity. And he scored a mad goal. Come on. So a move for me, boys. You're all just stood in the box. The passing delay. The everything's triggering me. Ah! We can't get it through. This is so annoying. Oh my god. Look at that. Look at that. How fun is this game? Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. He's shushing me with Cristiano Ronaldo. Are you actually winding me up? I don't like to sit here and moan and be negative. Because, well, the point of a video for you guys is to enjoy it. And me just sitting here moaning is not enjoyable at all. But I can't I, I can't really comment on that vid, on that game without moaning about FIFA and being negative. So I'm just not going to say anything. And we'll just get our 5,000 5, FIFA points. And we'll open up some packs and we'll see what we get. And hopefully it'll cheer me up because that was bloody ridiculous. The button delay, the one depth, the everything was just driving me mad. So we're just going to forget about it. We're going to not be negative. We're going to hopefully get some decent players from the squabble showdown in these 5,000 FIFA points. Okay, we've got 5,000 
and 25 FIFA points, just because that's how it rounded up. But there's nothing to spend the 25 FIFA points on anyway. The minimum is 50, so we'll leave it with 25 FIFA points at the end. And we'll see what we can get from our pack. We've got 12 gold players, 6 rare, 45k pack. There's 10 of them, so it would have been nice to get to 6,000 FIFA points if we could have drawn one of the games and get all 10 of them opened. But we'll open as many of them as we possibly can. And then just spend the rest on 7.5k packs, the remainder that we've got left over. So let's jump into the first one. It's a walkout. Come on, be a walkout for the team, please. Please. Brazilian. CDM. Man, Fernandinho. Okay, Premier League team. Upgrade of Fernandinho. That is sick. Oh, that's actually so good. What a first pack. Holy moly. All right. I like it. What else have we got? A couple of random French guys that... I mean, we could maybe use Malqui instead of Lala, because Lala's super obvious. We've even got a duplicate from our other packs, but Fernandinho is quality. That's a really, really good one to get. Pack number two is not a walkout. It is still a board, as the sign says. It's a Spanish right winger. Suso? Upgraded Suso. All right, not, not bad. It's not a bad pack. Well, it's kind of a bad pack, but... Also, completely useless to us, so a very bad pack, really. Nothing else particularly that's going to help us in our squad, I suppose. No Premier League players at all. Mm, yeah, not great. Not great. These FIFA points are going away pretty quick. Like I said, it would have been nice to get all of them. All these special packs open to get the 6,000 FIFA points, but at least we're pulling boards and walkouts and stuff like that. This one is a Jorginho. Another good Premier League option. All right. N I mean, good in inverted commas, but a Premier League option is what he is. So he's there just as a backup, as a reserve to maybe be picked if we're feeling desperate. Back of Yoko, a nice little French backup. All right. I mean, I'm never going to pick a Rigi or Lacardia or something like that, but I mean, they're in the club. They're there. That's cool. There's a couple options there. That's nice. All right. So we've got at least five of these left and then we've got 200 FIFA points after that. What are you saying about this one? Ah, oh, first, not a board. Is that top rack? That's not particularly helpful at all. In fact, I can't even think. I doubt anyone in this pack is going to be helpful. Maybe Defrel if we want to be super sweaty up front, but that's pretty dead. Another non-board. Oh, you're winding me up. Jiao Quinn. You are joking me. No, stop that, Andy. That is terrible. No. No, we don't, we don't deserve players to use after making that joke. Okay. Come on, hit me with another walkout. Or at least a board. Come on, you're being really mean to me at the moment, EA. Alright, at least a board. At least it's a board. Don't be Jorginho again. It's not. It is Balotelli. Could maybe stick him in a French League, French hybrid. I don't know if I'd actually choose to use Balotelli. Maybe a screen card if we do like an upgrade or something like that. Kagawa. Lanzini's an option for Cam, I suppose. Yeah. Average at best. Very, very, very average. What have we got? 1,400 FIFA points left. So we've got two of these bad boys and then something that costs 200 FIFA points. Yes, a walkout. Come on. Make it a good one. An inform walkout. An English inform walkout. Who's this? Is it Tarkovsky? It is. Interesting. That's a good little option, actually, to be fair. That's a very sneaky option, actually. That's an option where you don't want to pick one of the super obvious ones, but you're looking for someone half decent. So you're picking a guy who's totally random and, like, his normal card's crap, but his inform's actually quite good. I like it. That is a good Squabbler Showdown card. That is very nice. What else have we got in this pack? Two informs. All right. This one, not so helpful. Jack Cork. Oh, we've got um, Ari Gray as a duplicate. He's an absolute god, as we know from the first episode. Do you know what? That's actually quite good. I like that. He's a solid, solid card to have the option of. The rest of you guys can get discarded, and the other ones are probably never going to get used. But we've got one more of these packs, and then we've got 200 FIFA points to spend. What are we saying? No walkout. Two walkouts from that, though, isn't too shabby. Not even a board from this one. Is that Campbell? It's not even Campbell. I don't know if, even know if that's the right flag for Campbell. I'm pretty sure it definitely isn't. All right, it's Akin Fire. <laughs> I'm just being an idiot. I can't imagine there's anything in this pack. Nah, nothing at all that is going to be useful for us there. We've got 200 FIFA points. A 7.5k pack's 150. 
A seven and a half K pack's got us a walkout. Oh my God. Argentina, centre back, Otamendi. Otamendi, yes, come on. That's sick. Two Man City players packed for options in our team. That was a seven and a half K pack as well. Oh my God, all right. FIFA point earner has done absolute bits. And we still got 50 FIFA points, but I mean, we can only spend that on a silver pack. So as we finish this video off, I'll let the silver pack open. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, smash a like on this video. Remember to let me know what you'd like to see go on the wheel. We've obviously gonna have to, like I said, rub it off. So I can obviously just write the same stuff back on. But if you would like some stuff changed up, a bit of a mid-series switch up, let me know down in the comment section what types of series you'd like adding on for the squad building sort of parts. Ideally ones that just fill our club out with loads of random stuff rather than just steal on one sick player, I think would be the best option. But for now, on Cortoruccio, we're going to leave it there. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I'll see you on Sunday for Squad Roulette against the crazy man that is Swayback. Crazy series with the crazy guy. It's going to be nuts.